Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I will be talking about season 2 of Dragonflight and I will explain how you will be able to make millions of gold with the new raid Aberus the Shadowit Crucible. So this new raid will be released tomorrow on Wednesday and as you will see you will be able to farm many different type of items that you can then sell on the auction house for a lot of gold. And so definitely in my opinion this raid is going to be one of the best ways to make some gold in season 2 of Dragonflight. So let's start with the first category of items that I think are going to be extremely interesting and these items are all the new BOEs that you will be able to get when killing some of the different trash mobs inside the new raid. As you can see we're getting 8 new BOEs, 2 for each of the different categories of armors and all of them can be upgraded so it means that you will be able to sell them for a lot of gold. One thing that is very important to keep in mind is the fact that all the different mythic BOEs will be binds when picked up for at least the 6 to 8 first weeks of season 2. And so it means that right now the ones you will be able to farm with the highest high level will be the Eric version. So definitely try to do that in Eric version and like that if you manage to get some of them you will probably sell them for millions and millions of gold or maybe not each of them but if you get a couple you will be able to make millions of gold. One thing that is very important to mention of course is the fact that if you're paying on a very low pop realm it might be difficult to sell some of them so you might want to transfer some of these items if you manage to get some on a very high populated realms especially a realm where there are a lot of guilds who are actually doing all the different mythic bosses and everything and who might be interested in buying this type of items. This is just really a tip in order for you to sell them as fast as possible and when they are still very high in terms of value. So I'm not sure yet how exactly the farm will work. I'm hoping to make a video tomorrow to explain exactly how you can farm these different BOEs but basically all you have to do really is to go in the group finder you want to go either in custom or in raid and here you just want to type BOE and like that hopefully you'll find some groups that are doing this type of farms in heroic difficulty or maybe normal but I would really recommend you to do it in heroic difficulty. Keep in mind you will need to have a little bit of high level in order to do it. For instance right now I need to farm a little bit more because unfortunately people will be asking for a little bit of gear and everything in order to do this farm as easily as possible and so you might want to make sure to have a big high level in order to then do this farm. Then after that we have another category of items that is going to be even more interesting than all these different BOEs and this time these are all the different recipes that are also BOEs and that you will also be able to sell on the auction house. So for instance as you can see on Kazara you will be able to get this one, the plans for the Shadowed Impact Buckler. Then on the Amalgamation Chamber you will be able to get the recipe for the Draconic Fial Cauldron. Then on the Forgotten Experiments you will have a chance of getting the pattern for the Undulating Spore Cloak. Then on this one you will actually be able to get a satchel of pilfered recipes that may contain some of these different recipes which is extremely extremely good. Then on this one you will be able to get these plants for the Shadowed Raising Annihilator. Then on the Visions Toward Zarkram you will be able to get the schematic for the Tinker Shadow Flame Rockets. Then on Magmor Max, and this is in my opinion going to be the best one, you will have a chance of getting the formula for Ancient Weapon Shadow Flame Wrath. On Echo of Natural Union, will you will be able to get the pattern for the Shadow Flame Tempered Armor Patch. And on Salamanker actually you will just be able to get this one in Mythic Difficulty but you cannot sell it. So as you can see you will still be able to really get a lot of these. Keep in mind these are extremely rare. But one thing that is really interesting is the fact that they can drop for anyone. So you don't need for instance to be an engineer in order to get this one. So what I would recommend you to do really is to simply do all these different boss in all the different difficulties as soon as you can. And if you're lucky enough, you might end up getting one of these BOE plants and recipes. And then trust me, especially if you manage to get it during the first week, you might be able to sell it for 500k gold to 1 million gold easily. And keep in mind, again, they really drop in all the different difficulties. So even LFR might be a good idea because, again, you will increase your chance at getting some of these items and to then sell them on the auction house. Finally, when you are killing all these different bosses, you will also have a chance at getting all the previous BOE recipes and plans from the Vault of the Incarnates. 
And as you can see, these will have a chance at dropping from any bosses. So it means that you will have a chance at getting the new plants and recipes and also all these old ones that still sell for hundreds of thousands of gold right now. So really, I think this is going to be a really good way to make a lot of gold. And trust me, these are going to sell for a lot of gold during the first few days and first few weeks because again, all these different items are extremely interesting and people will try to get their hands on these plants and recipes as soon as possible to start crafting them. One thing I would also really recommend you to do is to simply try and flip some of these items because a lot of people are not aware of the value, for instance, of all these different BOE plants and recipes or of some of the new BOEs. And so in some cases, you might end up finding some for a very cheap price. And if you buy them at the right moment, you will then be able to sell them for a big profit. Of course, keep in mind, flipping is always risky because you never know if you will actually end up selling them for a profit or if you will end up losing some gold. But for instance, for the different BOE plants and recipes, I would say that for the first week, anything below 100k is definitely going to be a good deal. Of course, I'm only talking about the new ones, not the ones from the vault of the internet. And then for the BOEs, it really depends. But for instance, if you have one that is an Eric BOE with a, like maybe a socket or some specific characteristic on it, and you see that the value is really low compared to other realms on your region, then you might want to buy it and try to resell it as soon as possible for a big profit. Keep in mind when you are flipping this type of items, you have two or like two ways to do it. First, you can directly buy it on one realm and try to sell it on this same realm for a better price. Or what you can do also is simply buy an item on one realm for a very cheap price and then you can use all these different character transfers and right now there is a promotion so it's even cheaper to actually do this technique and then you can transfer this item or if you can manage to get multiple items all these different names on a better realm and by better i mean for instance a full pop realm where there a lot of guilds are active and where you know you will have a bigger market to sell this type of boes and there you will most likely be able to sell it faster and for a better price this is something i'm planning to do and something that again is risky but in some cases can end up making you millions very quickly and of course keep in mind you can buy these with your battenal balance so you can simply buy some war tokens with your gold and then purchase some of these character transfers to do these different transfers so you don't need to spend any real money one thing you can do if you really want to try and hunt for some of these new plants and recipes is by simply going here on the oribos exchange you want to go on your region and then you want to click on some of these items and normally you will be able to see directly where there are some that are really cheap and like that you can target these different realms and transfer some gold there buy them and then sell them either on this realm or on another realm then of course with this new raid you will also be able to simply craft all these new items that you will be able to get through these different boe recipes and everything so this is another way you will be able to probably make millions of gold for instance the first people who will be able to actually start crafting these different ancient weapons will probably make millions and millions of gold in just a few days. And same with some of these other items. So this is of course something else that you can consider and that will be available starting tomorrow. Keep in mind, it's probably gonna be very expensive during the first few days to actually get your hands on some of these formulas and recipes. But again, in some cases, you might be able to make even more gold just by crafting and selling these type of items. And then of course, but this is something that is only worth for a few people, but as with this new raid, we are getting a new customization, this one that is really, really nice. Of course, there's gonna have a lot of people who will be interested in getting a boost in order to get it. And so I'm sure that for a lot of guilds who will be able to offer these different services, they're gonna be able to make millions and millions of gold just by proposing boost in order to get this new embolidment of the Hellforged. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you will be able to make a lot of gold with Aberus. I will try to post a video tomorrow explaining exactly what you need to do in order to do the new BOE farm inside the raid. But other than that, I can only wish you the best of luck and hopefully you'll manage to get your hands on one of these really rare items during the first few hours or first few days. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos and in the meantime, I wish you all a great day. Bye.